Hi everybody, welcome to part 11 of Detective Holmes follows the case of the smart money. And uh, with just two more shows to go, I'm gonna focus in a little bit today on what we call trade setups, actual setups. So you can see here it says, we balance probabilities and choose the most likely. That's the key. It is the scientific use of the information, my dear chap. Well, of course it is. And this is exactly what Richard Wyckoff discussed over a hundred years ago, because what we, le what we completely understand about the markets is this, it's probabilities and choosing what is the best probability to make you money and keep you out of trouble. Now in last week's episode, we kept it nice and short and sweet. I talked about a stock called Facebook FB and I showed you the buying very clear and it's very clearly there. And during, um, as I'm filming this, um, we've seen the S&P 500, the FTSE, all making historic highs. We've seen the British pound being absolutely slaughtered by the smart money, and I'll show you that setup today. And today I'm gonna to focus in on trade setups. Not just, oh, there's an indicator, there's that. I'm gonna show you exactly what to look for, and I'm gonna really focus in on the questions you've been asking me. And several of them, actually, are about this thing called a trend cluster. I think when we had Grigory in, um, you know, and he sat down with me, and he was talking, Grigory Margolin, our chief technology officer, we talked about a trend cluster and, and the support and resistance levels. Um, so I'm gonna to touch on that today to show you how powerful they, they actually are. Anyway, to get to the point, in case this is your first show, you may be wondering why we call it Detective Holmes follows the case of the smart money. Well, it's very straightforward, actually, because I used to be uh, a policeman and uh, my name's Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S, just like Sherlock. So we've got a nice little bit of a spin on it. But ultimately, my expertise is no longer here. It's in chart reading and volume spread analysis and how to recognise trade setups using that system and something called the Wyckoff method. So if your first is your first video to what you're seeing of this, that's exactly what we teach you here at markets.com and Trade Guider is how to read a chart correctly. And, that, and I'm going to show you this with several examples today in this, in this short video. So again, as I've always said, we're 11 weeks in. I can't believe that that's gone so quick, but this is our 11th week of filming live here from... Um, the studios here in Liverpool Street in, in London. Uh, and I, I always just have this imagination as you're watching this, whether you're watching it in a year's time, two years time, five years time, it's out on social media. You know, you're the jury and I'm Detective Holmes giving you some evidence on a chart. And what you need to do with that evidence is look very carefully at it and decide, can the correct chart reading skills turn you into a trader that can make consistent profits in the market? Please note, and we'll be very clear about this. There's always risk involved in trading, if there was risk involved with life, <laughs> but there's certainly risk involved in this business. Um, and I think, you know, I'm working with Jack here at, at markets.com and, and Jack doesn't trade, he's learning. And one of the things I said to Jack was, actually, you know, when I came in today, I said, look, this is the Facebook chart. Remember I said this last week? And he, he's like, yeah. And I, he said, maybe I should learn this. I said, well, yeah, absolutely. Someone who's got no prior knowledge of trading and investing sometimes, once they learn the VSA method, become very, very successful. Some people who've got lots of prior knowledge and have failed consistently, often struggle. And I'm gonna show you today how you can, you can remove that barrier to being uh, successful. So let's just have a couple of things, a couple of recaps. So I'm the author of this book and that book, and both of them are available to you free of charge as a markets.com subscriber you just go to the front page of www.tradeguider.com. Easy to remember that, T-R-A-D-E-G-U-I-D-E-R.com. Now, in that book, I describe what's called a shakeout, followed by a test after the market's rallied, and I describe the setup that was one of Tom's favourites. Tom Williams was the man that taught me to trade, as many of you know. He passed away in 2016, unfortunately. But let's get to the chart here of Facebook. And we're going to come down here right at the bottom. And you can see here on this four-hour chart, 
This is one of the strongest indicators we're seeing and we get an email alert, which you can do too if you have the software, when this indicator appears. Now, what is actually this signal is, is what Wyckoff would determine, and Richard Wyckoff, of course, if you haven't studied him, his, his surname is W-Y-C-K-O-F-F, -F, was a legendary trader from the 1920s and 30s who had a cult following on, on Wall Street. This is a springboard. It's a, it's a buying indication. And we have it as an indicator. It's come up more and more. We're getting more of these appearing over the last six to eight weeks. Sign of strength, one, two, two, potential professional buying. Now, the next bar is very, very interesting here because if we look at what happens here, we get the shakeout, all right? And you can see this in multiple time frames as well. We, we, we happen to be using here the, 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 a different time frame. This is the one hour chart. But what we notice about the one hour chart is the buying comes in on the down moves. And that's how the market has to function. It has to have pullbacks in a bull move for professional money to buy into the market. And so therefore a setup is found when we see a pullback, especially on an increase in volume, perhaps we could zoom in on this one, this indicator here, but we notice we close in the middle of the bar and the next bar closes higher. And that's what we refer to here as accumulation. Now there's multiple examples of it, okay? Because when the market comes into an area where there's very high volume, and now you've got very low volume into that area, it tells you the selling pressure on this bar. The sellers are not there. Why? They're bullish. They're bullish. And that is exactly why you're seeing the stock I talked about last week as a very potential, well, it was a bullish stock, moving higher. And we've seen the indices following it. Now, let me get to some of the other charts I want to show you today. Now, the first one is going to be quite interesting, which is the Euro USD 15 minute chart. As I was walking in the office, setup appeared. These things happen. You see it right at the right edge of the chart, right at the top. Now, if you don't believe that volume is important and that weakness, when it appears, appears on markups like this on news, well, that chart proves it. That's a 15 minute Euro USD chart. Okay, and you can see already that these things here, which we've already talked about, trend clusters are incredibly powerful because they act as support or resistance. In this case, they're acting as resistance and they have been for the last two hours as it happens. So when I saw this happening, I could see that the market was hitting those clusters and just reacting to the negative, e well, it's complete weakness on this bar. Look at the spread. Look at what, again, please zoom in on this. Look at where we close. We close in the middle, just below the middle of the bar, but the next bar down, just over an hour ago. This is what we refer to as we teach you, supply and demand. That's supply. Supply has entered into this Euro US dollar instrument. Now, how do the trend clusters actually work? So I've had emails on this, so I'm gonna cover it. Now I'm gonna show you something which might look initially like a complete mess, but it's actually not. That's a chart underneath there. If you can see, you can probably zoom in a bit on this, but underneath here, those green and red lines, that's actually a price chart. But what we've done for this particular schematic is projected out all the different trend lines and they go back sometimes thousands of bars and it projects them out into the future. So when price action reaches those levels and you get a sign of weakness like we saw there in the Euro and it hits those resistance levels, it's gonna come off. It's the opposite if it's bullish. But if we were to put all those lines on a chart, you couldn't analyze it. So Grigory, our chief technology officer who explained this to you, we didn't show you this. And we've had a lot of emails about it. This is the most powerful tool that I believe we've developed after some of the VSA indicators that we've been working on in, in the last 20 years, because it's showing clear support. Now, don't ask me why these, I, don't, I know I'm gonna get an email. So how do they work? Why do they work? I asked Tom Williams the same question. No idea. 
being completely frank, I've got no idea why these things work, but they do. And the only clue I did get, because I asked Grigory about this as well, and we were talking, and he said, it must be something to do with human nature. It must be people are positioned at certain points and they see these support and resistance levels and as they're being projected out, they hit them. Now, let's finish off on a chart, which I wanna show you here, which is the GBP USD, which just had an indicator come in. Okay, now there's several on here I wanna talk about, but the first one is this supply. Now, the first thing you notice about the GBP USD, right, this is a spot forex pair, we're getting volume. And of course the emails I've had is, you can't get volume because there's no centralized exchange. This is my markets.com MT5 platform. I'm getting volume, it's called tick volume, and it's incredibly powerful. And in next week's show, I'm gonna read you an article, a very good article about the spot forex tick volume and how it works. But we can see here, we've got this supply that's in the market, but look what just happened over here, okay, on the hourly chart. Now this here is a trap. It's a trap up move and it's in a downtrend. And these traps happen on multiple time frames. So on this particular chart, it's an hourly chart. But let's go and have a look at the four hour chart. And what you're gonna notice on the four hour chart, right over here, the weakness. Very, very clear, right? It's right up the top there. Again, it's supply. So what are we charting here at Trade Guider and working with markets.com in this system? Well, this is a plugin for MT5. We also support MT4, we support other platforms as many of you know. And you can find all that information at tradeguider.com, our website. But the rule here is very simple. When weakness comes into a market and appears on a chart, it happens on an up bar, which I've already explained, so I don't have to do it again. It's a price bar that's closed higher than the close of the previous bar, but go and look at some of the previous episodes. And strength, when it appears, appears on down moves when it appears. And that's what you've got to recognize. Now, my recommendation moving forward here as we move into part 12 next week is go and download the strategy documents that are available right now at Trade Guider Professional, which is our professionalwebsite.com. All right. When you download them, read them. They're rules. There's a rules based system and it will explain to you why these setups appear. And the rule is this, if you want to set up, once you've seen the high volume appear, wait, do nothing. <laughs> That's just the elephant putting its footprint down and saying, I'm in the room. Wait, wait for the market to change behavior. In this case, you can see it started to turn red and negative and negative. After the footprint, it took three or four hours because the rule is this, you are paid to be patient if you want to be in these financial markets. So remember what we've said here, supply comes into the market on these up moves. It's marked up, it's like a markup, it's like an auctioneer. Demand comes in on the down moves, which we saw in Facebook. Now, all of this can be learned in a very short period of time now with the new strategies that we've put together, which are on tradeguider.com and tradeguiderprofessional.com, trade to win, those are our sites. And what I'm very pleased about here is markets.com. They want you to succeed, right? This is why they're putting all this effort into education and time, and, you know, and I'm giving my time up freely to come up and teach you this information because once you go through a process in your mind, and it is a process, then you put yourself in the shadow of the smart money, which is one of my books called Trading in the Shadow of the Smart Money. So without further ado, Part 11 over, part 12 next week. We may be doing part 12 as a live trading show. I'm not quite sure about that yet, but we'll let you know. Uh, remember, if you've got any questions at all, and you, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're confused in your trading, you're sort of looking at this saying, it seems to make sense, go to tradeguider.com. There is a support ticketing system right on the front page there where you can fill out a ticket and we will get back to you. So from markets.com, Trade Guider Systems International, God bless, take care, and as always, we wish you good trading and constant profits. Bye-bye.